Okay, part three here. Uh, sorry, again, this is very long, but there's a lot of stuff you have to do, and it will help you in the future if you're trying to do anything cool like this. And then, um, pretty much, uh, we just made our glow here. And we have to keyframe it. Again. So just go under picture roll. And we open up this and effects and glow. Uh, the intensity and stuff, I forgot to keyframe all of them. So. And. Yeah, we're just gonna keep. That doesn't matter. Um, but we need it to go off again, so make a third keyframe. And we're just gonna drag the intensity back down. And that looks good. So, uh, it's hard to tell. You'll just have to keep going back until you get it right. And uh, that's that. But when we click it, we want it to get bigger. So we're just going to change our scale here. And um, also, we're going to change a little bit of the rotation when we're done with this. But uh, this is going to be pretty tricky to do because it's in uh, here. But we'll try. So if we just go to... Uh, this and we go to transform at the same point right where we're at from last time click on scale and then go up about six frames or quite a bit and it's still moving and scale it up uh, you, you really can't tell just go okay that's too big obviously Well, something like yeah, maybe right here. The rotation's really funny on this. So select. Oh no, I got a text message. I'm going to take the rotation tool and I'm going to fix everything and come back. Okay, back. I've got it figured out. Uh, it's just pretty much going to take a lot of tampering and stuff like that that you need to do. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's it's just okay. Um, I suggest that if you know the picture that you're going to click on, keep it out of the pre-comp. Uh, so you can better use these controls and uh, you won't have to see anything bad about it so yeah just keep the picture out of the pre-comp and you'll get better results uh, sorry this happened I didn't do it this way last time I did it but this is still a much simpler way anyways we have it right here and uh, he clicks it again so we're just gonna go into our picture holder or picture roll and uh, go back a couple frames, one, two, and we're pretty much just going to make, uh, add a keyframe again, and go back two frames, and put it back down to what it was. Oops, not negative, that would be bad. Okay, that's about right so that looks good uh, it will look good and then if we go back and play it about right here and yep looks good so um, the next step would be is uh, pretty much make it scale back out again but I'm pretty sure you guys can handle that and then also change the opacity of the pictures to blink out again before you close it or whatever the hand motion is and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, we can add a couple more effects like the grid effect that I had on there and um, actually let's take our picture roll here 
and rotate it so that's kind of facing him again and take our uh, tool here and bring it back out a little bit so it still looks good and yeah so pretty much keep a picture out that you're gonna click on back in the pre comp and I need to go in here again and make it a little bit smaller because it's a tad too big and then just make it like oops oh my god Okay, this is getting annoying. Load. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's good. And uh, we're done with this, if it will load. Let's see here. So to make the grid, we're going to make another, uh, pretty much another solid, and uh, I'll show you guys how to do that real quick. Also, what we need to do is add some glow to uh, our uh, our things that are holographic. Gives it a little bit nicer effect, and we could also add some uh, uh, glow that comes on his hands which I did not do to uh, ours because I didn't put for the time but I'll figure that out real quick uh, after I teach you guys how to do the grid I'll pause the video figure out how to do it exactly good and then uh, that'll be like our final effects and the end of the tutorial so pretty much here we need to make a grid now so just go ahead and make a new solid and it doesn't matter what color the solid is, we can go ahead and change it later. And uh, we need to go to this. Uh, make sure you have it selected. Go down to Effect. Go to Generate. And go to, um, let's see here, Grid. So you can find it here. Grid. And we need to change the border down to like 2. Eh. Two, and then oh, you're gonna do that to me, huh? Let's go three then. Okay, that looks good. And what you need to do is this is pretty much a uh, er, here we go. Here we need to go on this and press Control D to duplicate it. So we can add another effect to it. We need to make the border pretty thick and go to uh, blending mode and go down to stencil alpha and move this second point center point around and it's going to give you a cool uh, thing it just all depends on what you move it as and this looks good right here uh, you can mess around with that all you want but uh, it gives it an extra kind of cool looking effect to it so now uh, we have that made we want to make it 3d and take a rotation tool, rotate it on the x axis. We need to rotate it kind of down and up a little bit. And then we need to bring it down and bring it towards us. So if we can see this green thing back here, bring it towards us a little bit and then add some blur to it. So go down to effect and go to blur, box blur, works, any of those work. And just change the blur radius up to like 1. 1.5 is good. That looks good. And we can also do the same for the royal blue if we'd like. Uh, it's up to you. But pretty much it's it's not the same color 
So if we just go to effect, uh, generate fill, and go to color, and we can change that color to the royal blue that we have, which is about right there. Looks good. So now they are matching colors. And then what we also need to do, like I said, is add glow. So that's already over here. So just drop the glow on there. Turn the intensity up. Let's try that. Yeah, it looks cool. And then do the same for this. We'll do 2.6. That looks good. So let's drop it on here and go to 2.6. It makes it look really cool and then uh, if we drop the threshold down we can give it more uh, brighter color so let's just drop it down to 54 same with this one go down here to our uh, threshold just drop it down to uh, what was it it's 54 here. Hmm. There you go, just mess around with it. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to make the uh, other, I'm gonna tilt this down a little bit. How to make some glow effect uh, come upon you. Uh, it's pretty much just using another solid and mask, but uh, we'll figure it out. Tilt that down. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I will uh, come back to you when I figure it out. Okay. Okay, guys, back. I need to be really quick with this because we're running out of time and I don't want to go into part four. But anyways, I dropped the brightness of the uh, of the actual video on both of them to the same settings, uh, so that we can kind of see more of a glow effect and it makes everything look a little bit better. Anyways, so we'll do that. And we what we need to do is make a new solid. Uh, make it comp size and then go to uh, your ellipse tool and then you can just double click it and it'll make a perfect ellipse here and um, what we need to do is keep it on add but if we go to transform actually I'm going to try feathering feather it quite a bit and then also drop the opacity down maybe a little actually feathering might just do it but anyways we need to move it below our uh, thing here so kind of in the back and what you can do is transform these points you don't have to use the lips you can use whatever you'd like and uh, let's see how it comes out here Pretty much, we are just going to transform this into only this area behind him, and then a little bit up his arm. So, right here. Then we also need to drop this point down over here to form his hand. And then it renders out and it looks pretty cool. We need to, we'd actually add some more less feather to it. Okay, like that. And yeah, that looks pretty good. Um and then you know you guys you have to animate it back out and then also if you're doing the glow effect uh, you need to pretty much make it zero opacity on the transform and then have it or you can even scale it and then have it come up and it'll look pretty cool but anyways guys that's uh, the tutorial please comment rate subscribe all that fun stuff 
yeah, thanks again to Hunger Edits who pretty much brought this tutorial to you guys. And go check him out. He does really good editing and stuff. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, just message me. And uh, yeah, peace out.